Hello? Hello, do you hear me? Oh, the microphone though, uh, your microphone is off. So maybe I can wait. Oh yeah, now, now it's on. So do you hear me now? Oh, yes. Okay, but like I always tell you, you can't just say yes, no, you need to make a sentence. So my question is, do you hear me now? Okay, if you don't, then maybe I can just add one more sentence here. All right, the question is simple. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me now? All right, this is the sentence. So what is it in Korean? Um, they are Okay. Mm. All right, and how would you answer this question? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, and make the full sentence. I hear... You now. Okay. Yes, I hear you now. Yes, I hear you now. Right. So that's how you do. You just need to practice until you actually can nail it. All right. So that's one. And okay, do you hear me now? Yes, I hear you now. Okay, very simple. Very good. So maybe today we talk about this. So there are things that you need to understand. So one thing is your teacher will always ask you this way. Simple. Always, 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 always this. Do you? Did you? Will you? Are you? Have you? Just only five questions. And then next, maybe she will say, when do you? Where do you? why do you who do you what do you how do you and then next will be like this do you understand what do you understand when do you understand and next is this do you understand what i said so let's say this is level one level one this is level two level three level four slightly more difficult each time but okay we'll just make some sentences today so okay we're gonna make some sentences mm. uh, okay uh, can you make this sentence do you Read the book. Read and then? Book. Book. Okay. Yes, books. Why? Because we don't really just only read one book. We read many books through life. So do you read books? That's good. So do you read books? Do you read books? Mm. All right. Then answer now. How will you answer this question? Do you read books? Yes. I read books. That's right. This is books. 
Yes, I read books. Yes, I read books. It's simple. This is how just foreign people do. Alright, then maybe I make another one. Uh, then what about this? When do you read books? When do you read books? Can you answer my question? When do you read books? Do you understand when? What is when? Day? Something like that. So it has two different ways to use it. So I'll just start with the, this first. Uh, when is when. When. Then what about, okay. Then uh, when. Can you make this sentence? When you... When you? Sleep. Okay. <laughs> you have two things confused here. I'll explain so just now I told you there are two things this is level 3 and this is level 4 so now you are confused between level 3 and 4 so let me make two different sentences now okay first this is I'll do it here when do you sleep? This is this is when do you sleep? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what if I change just a little? Then what happens there? It totally changes. So I'll just make one more here. Then I'll say when you sleep. So what is when you sleep in English? Do you know when you sleep? What is it? When you sleep. On the channel? No, not really. When you sleep is, then what about you sleep? What is you sleep? Oh yeah, right. But if we put when, in this case, when is, that is when here, in just normal sentences, but in question sentences, when is, So they are different, same when, but it's question, but this when is this, they are different. So when you sleep is, what's when you sleep now? Okay. This is when you sleep and this is when do you sleep. So if you put do you, this is question. But if you don't put do you, this is not question, but this. So I will make one sentence, which will help you understand this. One. When do you sleep? Two. 
Oh, but it has question mark, so I'll just remove it when you sleep. Okay, so what do you think is the answer here? Which one? Yeah, you can say the first one. When do you sleep? When do you sleep? When do you sleep? Okay, so that's the question. And now we will make some more sentences. Let's go. So maybe I'll say, uh, then okay, what about this sentence? Can you make it? When you sleep. Very good. Okay. When you sleep. When you sleep. Then maybe I can say, uh, can you make this sentence? Oh no, maybe I make this one first. Uh, how can I make it? Uh, <clears throat> Ah. Can you make it? Um. Um. Course. For huh? me. For me, ah, uh, yeah, I'll teach you one more thing here. Call, called, and called. Call, called, called. Call, called, called. Okay, so call has this part. So you don't want to say the prepositions there. You just say, call me, not call for me. Okay, so then what about this? Mm-hmm. Um. Me. No, you don't say for me. You just say me. Mom called me. Okay. So I'll say my mother. My mother called me. My mother called me. My mother called me. And now the next sentence is. Then what about this? I am in the school. Okay. <clears throat> that one maybe I'll change. I was because it's past tense. Ah. Uh huh. Right, but it's okay. It's okay. I was at school. That's enough. Good. I was at school. I was at school. I was at school. Then how do we change it? Just like this. Make it. My mother. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. Uh, 
Um, at school. Hmm, at school. No, actually, my mother called called me at school. Okay, I'll change it. You said it. Um. My mother called me at school. My mother called me at school. All right, let's try this again. My mother. Okay. Hold me. Okay. This is the hint. Ah. Uh, when? Good. Um. Go. <laughs> okay, I'll change. So look at this. My mother called me when. Now we talk about another sentence here. We talk about it. Who? I. And do what? Was. And where? At school. When I was at school. My mother called me when I was at school. My mother called me when I was at school. Yep, that's how it works. It looks difficult, but don't worry, you try a few times, then you know it. Okay, let's try. Do you hear me now? Okay, wait. Do you hear me now? Not this. Do you hear me now? This. All right, better. Do you hear me now? Yeah, so how would you answer this? Uh, um, yes, I hear you now. Yeah, yeah, yes, I hear you now. Yes, I hear you now. Good, and next. Do you read books? Yes, I read books. Okay, yes, I read books. Very good. When? What is when? Momohate. Oh, right. But uh no. okay, maybe maybe I'll change it. Maybe I'll change it. One is that and two is so one is question and the other is just uh you know he makes some kind of sentences that you will learn today, I think. Well, yeah, you're what right, partly right. Okay. And which one is correct? Um, okay, oh, so my question was Which one is correct? Which one is correct? All right, what is it? What is it in Korean? Which one is correct? Another something. Aha. Aha. Okay. This is which one is correct. Maybe you need to know correct and which and one. Three things. I'll teach you. Don't worry. So in that case, you can say the first one is correct. The first one is correct. The first one is correct. That's the first one. This is uh, ordinal and you, you will learn that too. All right, so fine. So I'll tell you which.
which, which, what is which? Um, uh, um, no, not really. This is which. And now, what about one? What is one? One. One. Hana. Okay. So, number one is one, of course. Two is... And three is... So, one. I can say, maybe a person asked me, so let's have two things here, left and right. And maybe I ask you, which do you like? Left or right? So which one do you like? One and one. One is a thing. So I can say, oh, I like this one. This one. One. As this, just a thing. But maybe, maybe I have two people here. Okay, people. I'll see the image here. So in this picture, maybe I can ask, which one do you like? Which one do you like? And that case, we are talking about person. I'm asking you which person you like. So maybe I can say, I like the one in the green shirt. The one. It can be person. So one can be number one. One can be a person, one can be a thing. So thing, you don't know thing, I guess. Thing, thing, thing. What is thing? Right. So you can say one and that can be a thing. One, that can be a person. One, that can be a number one. So one has many different meanings. I'll show you one. So look at this. One as number and one as just something. Yeah, it's possible. This as a thing and one as a person too. So it has many different meanings. So which one do you like? Which one is correct? You need to know correct too. Correct. 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 What is correct? Mm. Oh no. Correct is one, two, uh, this. So it has two different meanings. Of course, I need to give you uh, two different sentences for it. So I correct. I corrected mm, students' homeworks. I corrected students' homeworks. I corrected students' homeworks. This is the meaning. Do you know this in Korean? Chomsak. Do you know? No. Okay, it's fine. I'll teach you. Then do you understand now? Answer. Answer my question, please. Do you understand now? Yes, I understand. Mm. Now, okay, now. fine. Okay, fine, it's fine. So we do it. When do you sleep? Okay, that one is the answer. And wait, I need to change this one too. Okay, so what is it? How would you make this sentence?
What, what is it? Yes, right. Um, you sleep. Oh, this is the hint. Ah. Uh -huh. When you sleep. Right, when you sleep. That's when you sleep. Then maybe I make another one. Uh, nah, it's fine. Okay, which one is correct? You can say the first one is correct. <laughs> you can say now the first one is correct. All right, maybe you don't know the first. I'll teach you. Mm, okay, we need to talk about cardinal and ordinal. So that will be here. Okay, let's go. So one, how do you read this one? What is this one? In Korean, what is it? Hana. Okay, then we need to know How can you say this one in English? First. Right. You need to say the first. And now we talk about this too. Uh, then, okay, what is it in Korean? Two. Mm -hmm. And what about this in English? Second. That's right, the second. And what about this? Um. Third. Oh yeah, this is the third. All right, what about fourth? Oh yeah, I said it, the fourth. And what about five? What is it? <laughs> then you probably need to practice. But okay, uh, maybe I go to mine and I'll try to find it for you. Uh, I need to find some preset here. Okay. This one maybe? Oh no, not this. Okay, just uh, wait for me, I'm sorry. <sighs> Where did I put it? Maybe I don't have it. But instead of that, maybe we can try this 5W1H. Let's try. Okay, so can you guess what this is? What is it? How do you make it? Where? Um. Where and then there. Well, then let's see. Where is that? It's just where is that? All right. Then what is it in Korean? Okay, good. And how do you make this sentence?
Uh, it's all right. We'll just make some more sentences here. Okay, let's try this. Mm. Okay, how do you say it? I study. Yeah, I study. Simple, right? And next is... Then what about this sentence? Can you make it? Uh, yes. uh, uh, um. Do you study? Very good. Do you study? Okay. Then now, the next thing is... Can you make it? Why? Do you study? Okay. Then what about this? Well, the hint is here. What? And then? You study. Did you say what you study? Kate, uh, did you say what you study? Eh? Did you say what you study? Oh, okay, you don't understand it. I'll make it. Did you say what you study? Did you say what you study? Uh, do you understand this in Korean? What is it in Korean? Um. Um, Balada. Mm -hmm. um. No, not really. This is This is the question. So the answer could be yes or no. So is it yes or no? Yes. Aha, uh -huh, I see. So yes, and then you can finish the sentence. Try it. Oh, okay. But 
but I share the screen. So uh, do you not see the screen now? Okay, maybe it was slow. Yes? I say. Okay, I say. In that case, maybe you can say, yes, I said, so past tense, what you study. Yes, I said what you study. Yes, I said what you study. Okay. So, which one is correct? First. Okay. The first one is correct. Very good. When do you sleep? When you sleep. Then when you sleep, what is it? Oh no, no, not at all. It's not a question. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Confusing, right? But don't worry. Cold, cold, cold. Very good. And the second one. Mm -hmm. Mm, good. This? Mm, my mother called me. Perfect. My mother called me. I am at school. Oh, but what about the tense? Tense. Tense is uh, past tense, present tense, future tense. So this is past tense, right? Ah. Uh-huh. So, can you make it again? Okay, make it again, please. Do it again. Um. Okay. Um yeah, where were we? Yes, this one. You need to know how to make this sentence. I was at school. That's right. I was at school. I was at school. Mm -hmm. When you sleep. What is it? Very good. I rather hold me. At school. 
Okay, my mother called me at school. My mother called me when at school. No, when. My mother called me when I was at school. When I was at school. These are two sentences here, but uh, okay, you practice more and you know which one is correct. So how do you say this one? Okay, in case you don't know, I'll just go on ahead. The first one is correct. The first one is correct. Oh. This is correct. Which? On a what? Yeah, right. That's which. Good. My mother called me. Mm -hmm. When I was at school. Okay, good, perfect. My mother called me when I was at school. One. Then, ah, da. Mm hmm. It. Oton saram. Yeah, right. Perfect. Oh, cold, cold. Very good. Perfect. Call, called, called. Which one is correct? The first. Uh, one. Correct. Oh, the first one is correct. The first one is correct because before adjective, you must put the verb be here. Yes, my mother called me. Okay. I was at school. Okay. Yeah, that's actually right. Good. My mother called me at school. Mm, I don't think so. Ah. Ah. Okay. My mother called me when I was at school. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. Fine. What is it? Which? Mm -hmm. That's which. Which. Which one is correct? The first one is correct. Okay. The first one is correct. My mother called me at school. Mm, right. Okay, so those are sentences. Maybe we talk about more sentences here. But uh, I think you can actually 
learn these level four things today. Let's go. Uh, then what about this? Okay, can you make it? When? Yes. Yes. Oh, this one actually you need to change it. Is what do you study? Otherwise, what? this one is this one is what you study is. This is what you study, and this one is well, this. So they are different. So All right, how do you make it? What do you study? Uh -huh. What do you study? What do you study? Okay, then how do you make it? What do you study? Very good. Oh, what you study? What you study? Okay. Uh, then what about this? Uh, I I like what you study. I like what you study. I like what you study. Right. Uh, what and that? How can I teach you this? Okay. Then what about I want to eat? No. Yeah, maybe we try. I want to eat. I want to eat. I want to eat. What is it? Yeah, right. That's I want to eat. Okay, then what about this? I want to eat what you are eating now. I want to eat what you're eating now. I want to eat what you're eating now. No. no, 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 no. What you are eating now is oh, you are eating now. Maybe we start with it. So, okay, I'll just put it here. You are eating now. What is it? You are eating now in Korean. Very good. Then now, what about what you are eating now? Um, Oh, no, 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 no. What is, what is first and second So in this case, this is not the question. So it's second one. What you're eating now.
Oh no, you are eating now, so what you're eating now is. That is what you're eating now. Then now, all together, what about I want to eat what you're eating now? So, in this case, maybe I can show you one picture. Two person or people at a restaurant. So maybe these are like two people. Yeah, like two people. So maybe this person is saying, I want to eat what you're eating now. Maybe he's having hamburger, different hamburger. Then she says, I want to eat what you're eating now. Then she wants to try this burger. That's what it means. So. That's what it means. I want to eat what you're eating now. Then, okay, maybe I'll change a little. I want to study. I want to learn. I want to learn. I want to learn. What is it? That's right. Then what about I want to learn what you uh, study? I want to learn what you study. I want to learn what you study. Very good. Right. That's how you use what. Then what about I know what you vote? I know what you vote. I know what you vote. What was that? What? 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 Boat. Ah, I see. Uh, that is okay. I'll tell you this then. Buy. Do you know buy? Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Actually, you need to remember this way because it's transitive verb. And what about boat? Boat. Okay, you tell me now. What is boat? Very good. And what about the last one? The past participle. That is. That is boat. By boat. Boat, buy, boat, boat. Bought, 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 bought. I might be wrong. Wait. Bought, 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 bought. Wait. Some degree of transparency. I want to know the product I bought is the same one that. Didn't have time for it, so they just bought the thing as a status symbol. Boosted her incomes and brought a tractor. And... I never bought the one. I was wrong. 선생님이 틀렸습니다, 발음. 선생님, bought라고 약간 ought 발음을 했는데, 그렇지 않아요. 어, 선생님이 발음을 약간 틀리게 하고 있었네요. Bought. 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 우 발음 안 들어가고 그냥 bought. 이렇게 됩니다. 약간 긴 발음으로 그냥. 그래서 선생님 다시 고칠게요. Buy. Bought. Bought. Buy, bought, bought. 근데 거의 똑같습니다. 어차피. Well, okay. So that's the past tense. So my question is, I know what you bought. I mean, I mean, same. 근데 선생님 발음이 틀린 건 아니고 그냥 살짝 다른 거예요. 어, 아주 약간 다른 거예요. 왜냐면 이렇게 써서 문제된 적이 한 번도 없었기 때문에. 근데 항상 조금 더 스탠다드한 발음은 있습니다. 그렇기 때문에 그쪽으로 옮겨가는 게더 좋긴 좋아요. I know what you bought. I know what you bought. I know what you bought. Right. 
right, right. That's how you use what. Oh, simple. Uh, do you know? Bolt. Do you know what he bought? Do you know what he bought? <laughs> right. See, you can do it. Then what about uh yeah, hmm. Do you remember what she bought? Do you remember what she bought? Right. Okay. Then what about uh Do they know why you bought this? Do they know why you bought this? Huh. Right. 선생님이 오늘 수업 시작 지점에서 이걸 물어봤으면 알았을까요? 무슨 말인지? 전혀 몰랐을걸요? 어. 선생님이 하는 일이 뭐냐면은 보세요. 이걸 하고 있는 거예요 지금 내가 선생님이 여기가 레벨 1이라고 말했죠 이게 Do you? 이게 지금 선생님 학교 선생님이 물어보는 질문의 레벨이 레벨 1일 거예요 근데 거기에 5W1H가 들어가서 When do you? Where do you? Why do you? Who do you? What do you? Do you? How do you? 이런 식으로 나오면 은 그게 레벨 2예요 이 레벨 근데 그거보다 조금 더 어려운 게 Do you understand? 이런 식으로 이제 뭔가 What do you understand? 이런 식으로 이게 이제 어, 예 이, 이거네 그냥 이거랑 같은 건데 레벨 2인데 그 다음이 이제 뭐냐면은 이거예요 뭐뭐 할때 이런 식으로 되거나 뭐뭐 하는 것 이런 식으로 되거나 내지는 어떠한 이유라는 걸로 만들어지거나 이런 거그 다음에 그걸 의문사로 만들 때 질문으로 만들 때 제일 어려운 게될 거예요 그래서 지금 현재 오늘 원래 갖고 있던 시, 어, 레벨이 한이 정도에 닿을까 말까 하는 레벨이었는데 지금 4까지 간 거예요 그렇기 때문에 선생님이 하는 일은 뭐냐면 이걸 하고 있는 거예요 선생님은 여기가 레벨 4예요 만약에 여기가 3이고 여기가 2고 여기가 1이란 말이에요 그럼 지금 현재 k 2 학생이 있는 위치가 여기라고 칠때 여기라고 칠때 여기까지 가야 되잖아요 우리는 원하는 건 여기란 말이에요 그럼 선생님은 하는 일이 뭐냐면 이걸 해주고 있는 거예요 계속 이거를 놔주고 있는 거예요. 디딤돌을 밟고 저기까지 갈수 있는 돌을 계속 놔주는 거예요. 그렇게 훈련해서 저기 갔을 때 어떤 느낌이 들 거냐면 은 이해를 못할 거예요. 여기 갔을 때 본인이 이해를 못할 거예요. 난 그냥 되니까 되는 건데 대단한 거 아닌데 이 생각을 할 거예요. 근데 그 과정에 분명 이런 것들이 필요하다는 얘기예요. 선생님 그걸 하나하나 다 만들어주고 있는 거예요. 지금 그래서 이런 것들이 자연스럽게 될 거고 자 하나 이거 있습니다 뭐가 있냐면은 이거 기억하세요 이거는 항상 기억하면 좋은데 내가 할줄 아는 말은 들으면 들린다 예를 들어서 선생님이 케이트 학생한테 뭔가를 말을 하는데 이 사람 무슨 얘기 하는지 모르겠어요 난 들어도 모르겠는데 이런 게 있어요 그걸 들어도 모르는 이유는 진짜 단순하게도 하나예요 내가 그 말을 할줄 모르니까 안 들리는 거예요 내가 할줄 아는 말이면 그 말은 들립니다. 즉 지금까지 학교 선생님의 말이 안 들렸었던 입장은 뭐였냐면 은그 말을 할 일이 없었기 때문에 안 들렸던 거예요. 근데 선생님이 말이 들리기 시작한다. 그건 어떤 변화가 있었던 거냐면 은 자기가 그 말을 할수 있을 정도의 레벨이 됐기 때문에 들을 수 있는 거예요. 어, 듣기 연습한다고 듣기 실력 안 늡니다. 말하기 연습해야 됩니다. 자 갑시다. 오늘 수업 5분에 끝냅니다. Do they know what you bought this, uh, why you bought this? 네. Then what about this? Uh, okay. Does your mother know 
where you studied yesterday. Does your mother know where you studied yesterday? Does your mother know where you studied yesterday? Mm -hmm. Ah, right. See, you can do it. 자, 그럼 다음은 어디예요? 다음은 여기예요. 다 왔어요. 지금 다 왔는데 다음은 뭐냐면 이걸 전혀 다른 입장으로 이해를 해야 됩니다. 어떻게? 이걸 여기로 옮겨가야 돼요. 이 문장들 있죠? 지금 본인이 듣고 알아들은 이 문장. 그 문장을 자기가 쓰고 싶을 때 마음대로 꺼내 쓸수 있어야 돼요. 그렇게만 되면 영어를 정말 잘하는 사람인 거예요. 예를 들어 생각해봐요. 당신의 엄마는 당신이 어제 어디서 공부했는지 아나요? 라는 문장을 그냥 아무렇지 않게 훅 꺼냈었어요. 그냥. 그 사람 영어 잘하는 사람이에요. 확실히. 근데 지금 케이트 학생 학교에 케이트 학생 반에 이걸 바로바로 바로 꺼내 쓸수 있는 학생이 몇 명이나 되겠냐고요. 그 학교에. 몇명안 돼요. 그리고 케이트 학생이 다니는 학교랑 다른 학교들도 다 똑같아요. 즉 한국에 이런 말을 아무렇지 않게 꺼내 쓸수 있는 사람이 몇 퍼센트 안 돼요. 진짜로. 근데 이렇게 되는 거 어렵지 않아요. 그 방법 선생님이 가르쳐 줄 거고 그거 숙제를 할 겁니다. 이렇게 되고 싶은 마음은 있습니까? 그냥 마음대로 훅 꺼내 쓰는 거예요. 아무렇지 않게. 한국어를 하듯이 영어도 한국어만큼 하는 거예요. 그냥 아무렇지 않게. 이렇게 되고 싶으면 딱한 가지 방법 선생님이 줄수 있어요. 그것만 하면 돼요. 솔직히. 그거 해볼래요? 한번? 음. 방법을 제가 말을 해줄게요. 그리고 나서 그거 보고 나서 할 생각이 있다면 저한테 말을 해주세요. 준비가 됐다면 그걸 시작하면 됩니다. 선생님은 그렇게 했었어요. 영어 한참 배울 때. 오케이. 이런 문장들 아무렇지 않게 마음대로 뽑아 쓸수 있으면 됩니다. 본인이 하고 싶은 문장들이 있어야 돼요. 자, 선생님 전에 말했던 것 같긴 한데 그동안 카톡 친구들이랑 주고받은 카톡, 엄마랑 주고받은 카톡 같은 거 한번 둘러보면서 체크해 본적 있어요? 내가 지금까지 주고받았던 이 카톡을 영어로 할수 있는지 없는지 확인해 봐야 돼요. 그 중에서 몇 퍼센트 정도를 영어로 해낼 수 있을까요? 3%. 3%요? 그거 하루에 1%만 올릴 수 있어도 100일 정도 되면 은 100% 되는 거 알아요? 그 꾸준함이란 게 진짜 무서운 거예요. 오늘 3%인데 내일 4% 되면 은 모레 5% 되고 6% 되고 하면 은 그게 정말 빨리 됩니다. 시간 얼마 안 걸려요. 제대로 사람들이 못하는 이유는 시간이 없어서가 아니라 안 하니까 안 되는 겁니다. 그냥 오케이 그 부분 설명을 해주겠습니다. 오늘 수업 아주 잘했어요. 지금 본인이 느껴야 돼요. 내가 전에는 못했던 것들이 하루 만에 굉장히 빠른 속도로 바뀌고 있다는 걸 느껴야 됩니다. 잘하고 있어요. 네, 매일매일 꾸준히 해주고 있고. 자, 오늘 수업은 여기까지 합시다. 뭐 물어볼 거 있습니까? 음, 그 뭐지? 아까 전에 영어 그 바로 나오는 거 그거를 선생님한테 언제 말씀드리는 거예요? 아 일단 제가 그거를 어떻게 하는 건지를 영상을 만들어서 보내줄 거예요. 이렇게 하는 거라고. 그럼 아... 그 영상을 보고 그걸 해볼 수 있겠는지에 대한 선택을 본인이 할수 있어요. 결정을. 그리고 나서 그걸 시작하면 은 진짜 정말 굉장히 빠른 시일 내에 본인 영어가 확 올라갈 거예요. 선생님 그걸 먼저 시작해보면 좋겠어요. 학교 선생님이 영어로 가끔 말을 한다고 했는데 선생님이 무슨 말을 하는지를 종이에다 적어보세요. 솔직히 그 선생님이 하는 말들의 개수가 많지 않을 거예요. 그렇게 해서 그 선생님이 하는 말을 이해하려고 듣기 연습을 해야 되는 게 아니라 그 선생님이 하는 걸 그대로 본인이 집에서 말하는 거예요. 몇 번을. 그럼 들려요. 그냥. 어 그렇게 하는 거예요. 영어 연습은. 좋은 계기가 된것 같습니다. 오케이. 선생님 그럼 거기에 대한 영상을 제작해서 어 언제가 될지 모릅니다. 빠른 시일 내에 제작해서 주도록 하겠습니다. 그래요. 아 맞다. 
아니 영상 작업 같은 거 공부를 하려고 했었나요 원래? 그런 거좀 하고 싶었어요? 아, 원래는 그랬어요. 아 그래요? 그러면 뭐 파이널 컷 프로나 뭐 이런 거쓸 생각이 있었어요? 아니면 뭐 무슨 도구를 쓰려고 했었어요? 맥북을 사용을 할 때? 아, 그... 아니 그냥... 그냥 모르겠고 그냥 두분 믿고 그냥 샀는데 그냥 앱 설치하는 것도 모르고 그래가지고 <웃음> 아 어려워요 어, 쉽지 않습니다 어, 그렇습니다 파이널 컷 프로는 또한 30만 원인가 할 텐데 살려면 프로그램 자체가 비싸요 어. 영상 작업이라 어, 그런 걸 하고 싶었구나 선생님도 그런 거 하고 싶어서 사, 어, 혼자서 배우고 그랬었는데 알겠습니다 네 지금도 하고 싶나요 혹시 그런 거 약간 미령, 미령 같은 건 있는데 <웃음> 아, 그래요. 그럼 명상 작업을 해서 만들고 싶은 완성품이 뭐예요, 정확히? 아, 근데 그런 건또 없어가지고. 그렇구나. 그냥 막연하게 영상 작업. 음, 알겠습니다. 자, 그러면 오늘 수업은 여기까지 하도록 하겠습니다. 수고했어요. 그래요. 그래요. 수고했습니다.